gonna start nice and easy, sitting cross-legged. Make yourself feel nice and comfortable, softening the shoulders, and seated. Seated position, you can be sitting on your heels, or you can be in Sukhasana, sit, Siddhasana when you've got heels towards your groin, or you can go for a, a lotus position or half lotus. And we're gonna start nice and easy. Close your eyes and just make a few circles with your shoulders so you can soften the shoulders and you can be aware of dropping the tension there. And then a few times gently rolling the shoulder the other way around. It's mainly about establishing the connection mind-body. So your mind is right now in your shoulders. And then gently release, soften. Keep your eyes closed, lengthen through the crown of your head. And then just rubbing the palms on your thighs a few times, there and back to generate some energy. Feel under your palms, your skin or the, or the leggings, the textile, anything. Just notice when you're rubbing the palms up and down that you are generating some sensations in your palms in your fingertips and then open the palms up on your knees close your eyes and i'm sure you can right now feel the energy you can sense and feel what is happening in your cells And then we can start to gently just inhale and exhale. Think of the energy coming into your palms and out of your palms as you're inhaling and exhaling. So it's like a practice for being a healer. So think of absorbing the energy through the palms and exhaling through the palms. So your palms, your hands should feel quite sensitized. Tuning the attention a bit further to notice your maybe supernatural scales. And just staying there, gently breathing, and before we'll go anywhere, just notice your thoughts and observe your thoughts for a moment, let them float back and forth, and just. Stay aside, just knowing your thoughts are there. And then notice the fresh air passing through your nostrils as you inhale. Notice your chest, your abdomen expanding. And deeply exhaling, feeling your chest, your abdomen softening. Connecting now to your physical body. And just notice how is your body feeling tonight? Scan through from head to toes and back from the fingertips to your head and back. And just notice if you can sense or feel any tension, perhaps any pains or aches. Or if you've got any past injuries and your mind really knows about that and even remembers how it happened. So just bring yourself fully into the weaker places of yourself, acknowledge them, and hopefully keep this connection throughout your practice so you can re-energize those bits and you can dissolve the past aches and injuries. And then when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. And we are gonna get, uh, I've got someone coming in, admit, Miles. Perfect, so when you're ready, opening your eyes. And we are just gonna start with a few breaths. So rub the palms together before we will start anything. We're rubbing the palms together, creating some heat. And just give yourself the energy onto your heart. Literally feel how you're soothing yourself from inside out. Close your eyes. And just feel your heart beating under your hands. 
Feel that energy. You can think of yourself, the body, the physical body, as a sacred space for your soul to reside in. So really appreciating how it works. And when you're ready, gently release. Coming on to your force. So I have about a few. I'm just gonna say hello to Miles if he managed to connect. Perfect, hello. <laughs> so let's come back again. So starting on your knees, and we are gonna stretch your upper back. So before we will do anything, tuck your toes under, move the hands forward. So we are gonna do the stretch for your upper back. This is really amazing, proper stretch. And then just drop the chest down, drop the chest down. Maybe forehead down, if you are quite bending, maybe chin down. And just staying there, feeling the stretch, holding it down. And give yourself a few breaths in and out. I'm just gonna tilt and come up. Perfect. Give yourself a few tilt, a few, a few breaths in and out. Maybe even if you manage, you can come on your fingertips, chin lifted, and look ahead. Look forward, keep looking ahead, and feel how your chest is dropping down. So you feel in the stretch. If it's too much, you just drop the forearms down, forehead down, and rest there. You don't have to go into your maximum. Only if you feel you really need super deep stretch, then working on it. Pressing the heart into the floor. Feel your heart melting down. Feel the heaviness of your torso sinking you into the stretch. And the longer you stay resting there, the more you can relax the muscles and you can go deeper into the stretch. So closing your eyes, either chin down or forehead down and now just resting. Feel the fresh air passing through your nostrils and just feel how you're sinking deeper into the stretch as you inhaling and exhaling. And maybe notice how it feels like in your body. If it's a bit too much, soften, don't go as far, relax, maybe lick yourself, and then just go back. It is quite intense stretch. So if you feel the body is quite heavy and it's sinking deeper and faster than you need to, just lift yourself up a bit, relax before you go back in. Staying there for a moment. Perfect. Keep breathing. I let Miles back in. <laughs> Perfect. And then take a few more breaths in and out. And then when you're ready, we're going to ease out. Easing out by sitting on your heels and then Extend the arms alongside your body so you can rest the shoulders. Forehead dropped down, soften the elbows and feel, you can have for this one knees together. And just feel how your torso is liquefied on the top of your thighs. Feel how you're releasing in the shoulders. Feel how your elbows sink down. You can feel these rotations in your shoulders, relaxing. Pausing there for a moment. Closing your eyes, either forehead down or top of the head, or you can, if you don't reach with the head down, just stay resting, liquefying on the top of your thighs, any way it feels good for your body, any way your body is designed to rest. And then when we're ready, we're gonna do nice another stretch, lifting back into your cat cow position, knees outwards as far as it's comfortable for you. So this is inner thigh stretch. So first lift up, so you can already feel the stretch in your inner thighs. Don't go too intense, just so you can hold it comfortably and breathe. And then very gently, chest first, start to lower yourself down. Lower yourself down, extend the arms. If you've got space in between your thighs, feel your chest dropping down chin on the floor or forehead on the ground and just rest and this depending on your inner thigh stretch if you're quite bendy you might have the chest completely on the ground 
if you are not as bendy in your inner thighs, you might be just hanging a bit higher, but drop the forehead down. Make yourself as comfortable as possible. If you want, you can rest one cheek down, then twist and press the other cheek down. Always trying to do each side equal. You want to stay balanced at all times. So whichever way the face is, don't forget to swap if you are not straight, chin forehead down. And just give yourself a couple of long deep inhales and exhales. Feeling the stretch in your inner thighs. And we are going to be working, bringing the peace into the body. So as you inhaling and exhaling here, you can bring in some meditative practice. Think of inhaling peace and exhaling peace. And as the peace is signifying deep relax and acceptance of everything, this mirrors in your body as you just lay down and let go completely. Surrendering. And then when you're ready, very gently bring the hands back under the shoulders. And then very slowly lifting and bringing one knee in, another knee in. And give your hips a bit of wiggle side to side. Beautiful. And we are going to work now with a bit of, with a bit of tabletop, tabletop stretch and work. Extend your left foot to the back and push through the left heel and keep pushing through that left heel, really pressing to the back. So it's only up to you how far you will go. You can design yourself the intensity of the stretch. If it feels too much, just have fun. If you feel quite tired too much, just don't go as far. If you really feel, oh, I need a stretch there, using your mind, using the other muscles to stretch your calf muscle, pushing their navel in. And then when you're ready, expand. Lay, uh, extend the legs to the back, so it's parallel to the ground, and then opposite direction arm. So we have got the right arm and left leg. And before we will even go anywhere, keep looking down and just stay here. We're gonna hold and breathe. So you're building some patience, maybe noticing how quickly we would like to get out of the pose. It feels easy, it's kind of boring maybe. So just notice how it feels like in your body and what your mind is doing there. Nice and simple, easy pose, right? So just keep breathing, keep noticing, keep acknowledging the thoughts coming in and out. And then we are gonna bring elbow knee together, rounding the back navel in, nice and slow. We are gonna stay here. We're gonna stay here and hold elbow knee together on three, two, one. And then inhale, expand again, nice and slow. Lengthen through the heel, through the fingertips. So it's quite strong. You're gonna be staying here for a moment. And then again, elbow knee together. Keep rounding the back navel in, holding there. Holding on three, four, two, one. And then again, extend. Holding there for a moment. We've got one more to go. Exhale, elbow knee together. You can start to feel your glute. Elbow knee together, holding there. Three, two, one. One more extension. Staying here for a moment. And then with your right hand, grabbing your left ankle. You can stay lower down if you feel you just want to work on your balance. But if you want to really get a nice stretch in your quads, in your shoulder, lifting up, lifting up, staying there for a moment. Beautiful. So it really stretches your quad and your shoulder. Keep lifting high up and feel your right glute working there. And then when you're ready, extend the leg to the back, toes down, turn on the inside of your left, shuffle the right foot to the back, and we are gonna have here extended side supported plank position. So staying here for a moment, feel the stretch. And we're just gonna enjoy the stretch, reaching forward, maybe even gaze towards the fingertips, and then up towards the sky, under the armpit, 
Feel the stretch in that soft part of your torso between the hip bone and the ribs. Feeling the stretch. So it's like you want to go to the front and back. It's like you're round, rounding and arching the side. Beautiful. If you manage, maybe close your eyes. If you're gonna stay in this stretch, keep lifting through the left hip up. Keep pushing the armpit up towards the sky, feeling the stretch. Closing your eyes, taking two long deep breaths in and out. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, bring the hand back down and then keep the left leg extended. You've got toes under as they were before. And what we're gonna do now is tuck your other toes as well. So you have got right toes under. And then on exhale, we are gonna bring left knee towards the, towards the forehead. And then inhale, extend back up. And then from here, we are gonna do a move. So on exhale, nose knee together and extend, lift your right knee off. So you are in the position like for tiger curl nose to knee. And then release, drop the knee, inhale, lift the left leg up. So let's do a few times, hopefully we got it. Nose knee and extend the right leg, straight right leg off the ground. Drop the right knee down, extend the left leg. Beautiful, let's go again. Nose knee, straighten the right, curl. Drop the knee, inhale, extend the left leg. Let's do two more. Nose knee, right knee off, tiger curl. And then drop the knee, inhale, left leg up. One more time. Nose knee, lifting, straightening the right leg, curling the back. And then gently release. Inhale, last time, extend the left leg up towards the sky. And then release. Take a moment, child's pose, go ahead on the ground. You can give yourself a couple of breaths in and out. You're gonna do the other side as well. So just resting, drop the torso down. You can soften the shoulders if you want to have the bend of the elbows, you can. Stay in there for a moment. Nice long deep breathing. Just notice how it feels like in your body. Notice maybe any tension anywhere or maybe heating the muscles and notice what you're thinking about if you are connected to your body and your practice or if your mind is flying away being aware inhale lifting back up cat cow position and now we are going to extend the right leg to the back so you've got right toes under and push through the right heel so pressing through the right heel navel in and really push the heel to the back so pressing the heel to the back, navel in, protecting the shoulders, and just dose yourself the amount of stretch you need. So pressing to the back, either intensely or gently, just to feel the stretch. As you're stretching your calf, you can feel you're actually engaging the right, right glute, and you're engaging your right quad. And then when you're ready there, extend the leg up, and left arm up. So we are having again this balancing tabletop position. Reaching forward through the heel, through the arm. And now again, just working with our mind, not just the body. You might hold it, maybe feel oh, I'm tired, I want to finish this, I don't like this pose. Or maybe noticing sensations in your knee. Maybe you are too hot. Just notice what you are thinking about, stay there present, mindful. Your mind can be storing around, but just notice when it drifts, bring it back. Notice what you think about, be nice to yourself, let it go. And then we are gonna do elbow knee. Elbow knee together, rounding the back, pausing here, holding on three, two, one. Inhale, expand, lengthen. Feel how strong your leg and arm is. Exhale, elbow knee. Holding there, rounding the spine. Three, two, one. One more time. 
extend, feel the stretch. Feel how you're growing and lengthening. It's just the intention gives you straight a nice line. And one more time, elbow knee together, rounding the spine, navel in, three, two, one. Inhale, expand, holding that. You can maybe already feel the glutes, and then grab your ankle with your left hand. You can stay lower down, working on your balance, or if it feels like good option, you can extend up. So you're stretching. Diagonal stretching your spine, you are opening the shoulder and you're stretching your quad. You can feel your left glute as the leg is supporting you. Working there. Beautiful. Again, notice how you feel. Notice if you're breathing. And then when you're ready, release. Hand under the shoulder, extend the right leg to the back. Right toes under, and we are going to turn on the inside, shift the left foot to the back, and we are going to turn into a side supported plank. And just stay there, hold, see how it feels like. Noticing the stretch, lifting through the hip, extending through the fingertips, and taking it down to feel even more stretch. Feel the muscles working and just breathing there. Grounding through your left foot. And then when you're ready, bring the hand back down. Bring the left foot in and we are gonna bring the right knee towards the nose, rounding the spine and then Extend high up. Perfect. And now tug your back toes under so you will be able to lift. So nose, knee, lifting it, curl. And then drop the knee down, extend right leg up. And then nose, knee, lift. Nose, knee, curled back, drop the knee. Inhale, extend, beautiful. Let's do two more. Nose, knee, lift into nose, knee position, tiger curl, drop the knee. Inhale, lift the leg back up. And one more time. Nose, knee, lift. So we're engaging the core, staying there for a moment. Drop the knee. Last time, lift the right leg up and release. Three long deep breaths in your child's pose, forehead on the ground. And I'm gonna reposition the camera. So just breathing for yourself, feeling the, feeling the breath flowing in and out. Beautiful. Perfect. And then when you're ready, Lifting back into your cat cow position. Tug your toes under and lifting into your downward dog. Staying there for a moment, maybe bend one knee and push the nose into the knee. Maybe see if you can connect your chest with your right thigh and nose into your knee, keeping the left leg straight. Staying there, feeling the stretch on the one side. And then release. The right heel down, bend the left knee, push the nose into your left knee and just stay there, feeling the stretch on the other side. And then release. Feet much distance apart and walk yourself a bit closer. So you've got mini dog here. And just wiggle your tail, wiggle your hip side to side. So it's nice, comfortable, short dog. So you're closer to your feet. Feet hip distance or further apart actually for this one. And just wiggling the hips side to side, navel in, head in between your arms. And from here, you're gonna walk yourself into a plank position. Bring your feet hip distance apart, drop your hips down, and just gently opening the chest on your toes. So you've got upward dog on your toes. 
And from here, exhale into your downward dog. So this is a nice spinal wave and we are engaging your hamstrings. Pressing through the heels down. Inhale, rounding the back, working with the spine. And then opening, inhaling in your upward dog. Feeling the stretch there, pausing there for a moment. And very last time, exhale, downward dog. And reach down through the heels. We're gonna stay in downward dog for the count of five. Keep pressing the heels down, nicely, gently stretching your calves, your hamstrings, four. Head in between your arms, shaking the head, three. Softening, two, one. Inhale, look ahead. And we're gonna step right foot forward, drop the left knee down. And we are gonna work with the hips. Inhale, reach up. So you've got a nice low lunge here, crescent. Reaching up through your fingers, lifting up. See if you can lift the hips and sink the hips down. Tucking the tailbone under as you go so. So you don't really sink into it with the back bend. You're keeping the tailbone tucked under. You just give yourself a few times this little movement forward and back. And then on exhale, twist. So you've got the right hand touching your left thigh, and then you have got slot, left hand on the outside of your right knee. And just staying here, see how it feels like. Notice the stretch, keep sinking down through the left hip. If it's too intense for your knee, just fold over the mat, give yourself double pushing in. And then inhale, reaching back up. Exhale, half split. So you can tuck your back toes under and then keep the chest connected to your thigh. If you are quite tight, maybe don't go as deep, but see if you can keep the chest connected for this one. And then gently, slowly sinking deeper. See how it feels? If you've got any injuries I have on the other side, so be taking it steady. Staying there. Maybe if you're super bendy. Only if you are super bendy and if your length of your arms allows, you can drop the forearms down. Trying to keep the hip above the knee. Pressing down. Lifting the gaze ahead, really targeting the stretch at the back of your leg. And then shifting back forward. Now we're gonna place the left hand under the left shoulder and we're gonna open into twisted lunge and you're gonna take it even deeper. So you're like falling over. The knee is on the ground, you're just bringing the arm over. So nice stretch. And then back. Let's do one more half split and now keep the toes up. Feeling the stretch under the leg. If it's too much, just ease up or go as far and really feel the stretch. Staying even higher if you have to, but keep now the leg straight. Give yourself a little ma massage if you need to. Don't overdo it. It's not worth it. Just find that nice balance between good stretch and this is too much. You need to find that little line where it does actually work, but it's not injuring you. And then shifting forward. Again, left hand under the left shoulder. And then we are gonna bring the right arm forward. And then if you manage, lift the left knee off. So you're reaching forward in this low lunge. And then we are gonna bring the cactus arm into twist. It's like you want to poke something or someone with the elbow on the other side. Inhale forward, so the chest is down, shoulders squared, and then twist, elbows to the other side, over towards the other side of the butt. And one more time, reaching forward, and then exhale, twist, twisting to the other side. Staying there for a moment. Inhale, reach forward, and then drop the knee down, and Step yourself forward, staying in the fold. We've got someone coming in. Perfect. Staying there. 
folding over, maybe grab the elbows, maybe gently rock side to side, see how it feels like. Ragdolling, and if you need to, maybe for this version, half lift, keep the legs straight. And then we are gonna fold, maybe gently bending the knees, and then straighten up. And we are gonna do a few times. Fold, if you want to hold under the knees or the heels, you can. And then inhale, straighten up, look ahead. Exhale, fold, maybe bend the knees. Inhale, half lift. So it's nice and gen gentle and dynamic in a way, but you're not going too far. Just exploring how your body works. Just having a little, little movement there. Little gentle exercise for your hamstrings. And then when you feel ready, stepping the right foot back, dropping the right knee down. And then we are gonna go back again into our crescent. Reaching up, reaching up towards the sky, tucking the tailbone under and feeling the stretch under or at the top of your right hip. So you can really feel the hip flexor there stretching. So you can go a few times forwards and back. Think of the tailbone being tucked under. And then on exhale, twist to the left. So you're using left hand on the outside of your right thigh, the right hand on the outside of your left knee and gently twisting yourself there. So it's only up to you how far you're going. Ideally, you don't want to be suffering through if it's too much, just back off. Don't follow blindly the image or what you can see, just do what works good for you. And then inhale, reaching back up. And then exhale, right hand next to your left, Foot and we are gonna go to twist it, low lunge. So reaching with an arm back to the other side. Beautiful, feeling the stretch. And then gently release. Now half split. So this is my injury on this side. I'm gonna take it steady. If you can, keep the tummy connected to your thigh. Don't go over the pain. And especially if you know you've got an injury somewhere, don't let anyone to push you too far. Listen to your body at all times. You can't even blame anyone. It would be just you to be blamed if you don't listen to your body. Feeling the stretch. Wherever you can feel it, just give yourself a little massage if needed. Keep looking ahead, keeping the hips squared. And from here, we are gonna move forward. Right hand under your right shoulder. And you can tuck your right toes under, reaching the left arm forward. And from here, we are gonna create cactus arms and with the elbow, left elbow, we are gonna go at the back to the side. So I'm reaching the wall now. Inhale forward. Exhale, twist to the back. Inhale forward. And exhale, twist. Feeling that stretch in your shoulders and feeling it in your hip. Inhale forward and exhale lower down. We've got one more stretch to do. So extend into half split, toes lifted up now. And just feel this is a bit different stretch, different sensation. So again, yes, ideal would be completely flat on the leg, but just do what feels good for your body. Notice where you can feel the stretch, don't go too far, lift up, ease off, gentle sink, deeper with exhale, and just think of yourself as this live body, and you are as you are, and you are just working with the sensations, with the breath, so you can sink in, you can release, so as you are constantly moving, as your heart is throbbing, everything is in the movement in your body. So you're just gonna move into the stretch as well. So gently maybe easing in and off. And then when you're ready, shifting forward, tuck your right toes under and step yourself forward, back into your fold. You can bend the knees, grab your elbows and just hang there. See how it feels like for you. If you want to have straight legs, you can have straight legs. If you can really relax for the Dropping the head down, see how it feels like. If you've got an injury or tightness anywhere, just explore, see how it feels. 
And then inhale, we are gonna reach up into a chair pose. So we are gonna do a twist in the chair pose. So holding your chair pose, tucking your toes under, uh, toes under, tucking your tailbone under, <laughs> not toes. And then we are gonna on exhale, bring the hands towards your chest and we are gonna twist. So right elbow on the left thigh and pushing your frame pose to the center of your chest, keeping the knees together. So see how you can twist yourself down. So you're really stretching from the middle, or navel part of your torso. Holding there for a moment. Inhale, reaching back up. Extend, exhale, twist to the other side. Left elbow on the right knee, twisting, gazing to the side. Keep pushing the top hand into your lower palm. Prayer pose close to your chest, knees together. Inhale, reaching back up. And then exhale, fold. You are gonna just feel the energy a few times so you can relax. Inhale, unrolling vertebra by vertebra up. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, gently folding. Folding down, press the floor, nose in. And then unrolling again, vertebra by vertebra. So you can notice how it feels like in your spine, in your hamstrings. Inhale, fold it up. And one more time, exhale, gently lowering down, nose in, and then inhale, reaching up, reaching up, pressing the palms together, exhale, hands towards your heart. Take a moment here, and we are gonna do a figure four chair. So we are gonna stretch the quads, we are, no quads, we are gonna stretch the glutes and the hips. So right, Ankle above the left knee, flexing your right foot. So I'm gonna twist and do it towards your side. So you've got standing left, right on the top, and then we are gonna just squat into our figure four chair. Four arms parallel to the shin and staying here. If you feel like it, you want to take it deeper. Interlacing the fingertips, chest to your shin, and bring the arms over. You can really feel you're going deep into the stretch in your hip and perhaps into your shoulders as well. Whilst balancing, keep looking down towards the floor, see how it feels like. And then when you're ready, very gently releasing. And then back, lift into your Standing position, releasing the leg and releasing the hands. Yay, give yourself a little wiggle. Let's do the other side. So now we are standing on the right, crossing over with the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale into your prayer pose. And you can start slowly, gently squatting down. You can stay here. Again, dose yourself the stretch in your hip if you want to. You can go even deeper by interlacing the fingertips behind your back, chest to your shin, bringing yourself over for the shoulder stretch. And just notice that little bigger in the standing foot. Calibrating, strengthening. And then when you're ready, releasing the hands. See if you can join them back again in a prayer pose in front of your chest. Gently lifting up, releasing the foot, and release completely, yay. Shall we try something balancing? So we are gonna start with the three poles, and then we are gonna take it into toe stance. So we will still work with the hips. So standing on your left foot, bring your right foot into your three poles, so into your inner thighs. But if you want, and you've got flexibility, you can go for a hard lotus here. Try to flex the foot so you have got nice protection for the ankle there. Whichever version you've got there, so you're in your three pokes, yeah? If you really struggle maybe tonight or because of injury, you can have the foot in your shin or even touching the ground, just touching the ankle. So any version you've got there. If you want to and have ability and binding is in your practice, Perhaps you can bind around your waist and grab your 
left toe, keeping the other hand in front of your chest. So any version you want, we're just gonna stay here. You can have traditional Pablo twos, three, or any three you like. And just staying there. So you're gonna build up the peace, the silence, the stillness. Maybe notice now when you're completely still, you can hear yourself breathing. And don't let that, that movement in your foot, don't let it disturb you. You are standing nice and steady and still. The muscles are working for you, not against you. And then when you feel ready, if you had to have lotus there, or maybe even just across your thigh, you might be able to get yourself into a toe stand. So you can fold over, get the ground with your hands, and then it's actually easier, I find, if you have got your foot further in the crease. But if there is no flexibility, it's still worse if you put foot lower down on your thigh. And then you are gonna slowly, gently start to bend, and you're gonna sit exactly on your Achilles, on your Achilles. So staying there, and then if you feel like it, find your drishti point, depends on the strength of your foot. If you find this already too intense, just get yourself out of the pose, go back into the tree. If you find this is okay, see if you can find your balance. There is still gonna be that little bit in your ankle, so you can feel my body is like trembling because it's holding there. The muscles are working. And then when you feel like it, hands, fingertips on the ground, lifting yourself up and maybe see if you can stay and stretch it in the fold. So see if it works this way, even not just normal fold. And give yourself a few breaths in and out there. This really releases. And now you're hanging down, so you go with inversion going on. And then when you're ready, see if you can lift up without falling over. This is a bit tricky situation, but hopefully it's gonna work for you. And then release, beautiful. So you can really feel lots of strengthening happen in your foot, can you feel it? Just give yourself a few little circles with your ankle down and back, and then you're gonna do the other side. So again, any three pose. If you already had enough today or you feel tired, even this works. You still get some uh, balance movement on the shin, in the thigh. If you want to take it deeper, you can go for hard lotus. See if it is works for you. I'm just doing the same side. <laughs> I realize if it's work, it works for you, keep the foot flexed so you are protecting the ankle there. If this doesn't work for you, just have a normal high, high tree pose version. If you've got this version, hands in front of your chest, up, anything you like to do with your hands, or if you want, you can bind around your waist. See if it works for you. If not, anything will do. I have got luckily long arms, so for me binding is easier, but not everyone is blessed with long arms. So everyone can do certain poses easier. Just be nice to yourself and accept your body shape, your body's abilities. And then if you feel like it, from here, you can keep the foot in the crease or lower down, but keep the foot flexed. And we are gonna lower down, lower down into a fold and then just sitting again on your Achilles. So you might notice one side is easier than the other. This is my weaker side. So you can really feel, this really is strengthening my ankle. And then if you feel like it, Secure your gaze. This is your first step. Really staying into something, keeping your attention there, and then joining the palms. And just sideways, being aware of your body working, but your gaze is everything. And then just noticing that little movement and getting used to it. This little movement is keeping you upright. That's like being on the waves and going with the waves. And then when you're ready, hands back down and see if you can stay in the fold so you can really feel the stretch in your hamstring 
Don't worry if you couldn't stay too long in your toe stand, it's a very advanced pose and if you don't practice it all the time, it needs practice. But hopefully you've strengthened your ankles and your feet. And then when you're ready, see if you can bend the knee and very gently lift yourself back up. So it is quite challenging. If it didn't work, don't worry. Just give yourself, give yourself credit for trying. And then when you're ready, you can let go. Beautiful. And then we are gonna finish a little bit of stretch on the ground. So sitting on the floor, and I really feel my calves and my legs muscles. So let's just stretch it out. It's nice and easy, usual stretch. Left foot into your right inner thigh. Inhale, reach up. And we are gonna not move. We're just gonna stay here, maybe gently rocking side to side. And just feel the stretch. Feel the stretch in the lower back. Feel your nose touching the shin or wherever you can reach. If you are higher up and you're super tight, just stay where you are, but locate that stretch. Feeling that stretch in your back, feeling the stretch in your maybe hamstring. And as you go, feel how you're relaxing a bit deeper. So not everyone is super bendy, and especially if you are strong rather than bendy, it's harder. So give yourself time to go a bit slower into the stretch. And breathing into those tight muscles. Close your eyes and just locate them. Notice where you feel the stretch the most. And keep breathing into those muscles. See how it feels like for you. Being aware where the sensation is and working with it. And then when you're ready, very gently climbing yourself back up super slowly, super slowly. That is how it feels like in your lower back. And we are gonna do a side stretch. So now right hand on the left knee, reaching the left arm up. And imagine you sliding the back on the wall, reaching with the shoulder towards the knee. If you're super tight, you might be somewhere here, you will still feel amazing stretch. If you are bendier, you might be able to reach lower down, stay there, anything, anywhere. As long as you can feel it and you are not turning inwards, but opening up, feeling the stretch there. If you want to, you can close your eyes and just keep breathing into the tight muscle. See how it feels. Accept where you are. So don't worry if you are a bit higher up, just notice the stretch. Inhaling and exhaling into your abdomen and then very gently, very slowly release. Yay, I can really feel it in my back. So just give yourself a nice little wiggle, nice little stretch. Sometimes it helps to move with your body as your body feels without instructions. Let's do the other side. Extending the left foot, left leg, right foot into your left inner thigh. And this is my injured side, so I'm going to be really high up, but it's okay. I'm accepting my limitations. So just staying wherever you feel is good for you. Gently wiggling side to side, feeling the stretch, softening the shoulders, softening your forehead and keep breathing. You really want to sink into the pose millimeter by millimeter. Feel with each exhale and inhale how you're softening and gently, gradually going a bit deeper. Not pushing it, not feeling too tight. Just having the body you have and being grateful for your body. Wherever it is right now, Keeping your eyes closed and breathing, feeling the stretch. Lower back, hamstring, anywhere you can feel it. Inhaling and exhaling. If you are higher up again, enjoy the process and mainly enjoy the stretch as fully as you can. Inhaling and exhaling into your abdomen, finding the peace and calm within. 
You bring in the peace in as you inhale and exhale, saturating yourself with the peace and calm. And then when you're ready, super slowly, if you stay too long in the stretch, it's really important to go slow back. So you don't do or anything, beautiful. And then left hand on the right knee, reaching the right arm up, and then extend to the side. So first up, elongate yourself and then bring it to the side. See where is the limitation? Find that the little, little moment, little, little edge where you feel, okay, this is my comfort. And if I would go over it, it's a bit too much. So just find your limit and stay with it. Breathing deeply, opening the armpits towards the sky. If you want to just move around, you don't have to be so static, or you can really relax into it and just stay where you are without trying too hard. Let the muscles lengthen. I can see you looking beautiful. And just feel the stretch. Feel how this side feels compared to the other side. Notice anything you can notice. If you close your eyes, Notice the tightness and just keep breathing into the tight places within your body. And then when you're ready, inhale, reaching up. And then release. Beautiful. Give yourself a little twist. Perfect. And then we are going to do um, double pigeon. So I love this position. This is amazing for your hips. So if you find this is too intense, don't worry, you don't have to be completely flat on the ground. So line yourself, shins on top of each other, it doesn't matter which side you do, you're going to do the other side after. If your knee is lifted up, that's okay too. And just think of folding over. See how it works like. If you are so, so, so tight that you can't even put the ankle on the top of the knee, just stay cross-legged, don't break yourself. If you can at least achieve this type of position, at least you can feel the stretch there, stay there. If you feel a bit more bendier, maybe you can go slightly forward. Maybe you can go a tiny bit more. Maybe you can completely drop down. See how it feels like. It is intense stretch. Even when I go deeper, I do feel the stretch in my hips a lot. So you just want to be having the stretch, the sensation bearable don't go over the pain it is quite intense it's in your hips and there are big muscles which are being stretched so the sensation is quite strong close your eyes and give yourself a couple long deep breaths in and out before we will return and then when you're ready very slowly, gently start to climb yourself up. And notice the sensation. Can you feel heat coming into your legs? So maybe a little tingling. Notice the sensation. Notice how it feels. So you can really be there for your body. You can really be there mindfully absorbing all the signals your body is giving you. And then very gently walk yourself forward again, swapping the sides. If you are super tight, the knee up is totally fine as long as you can feel it in your hip. If you are super, super tight, just cross like the other way around and fold over. Feel the stretch wherever you feel it. Sometimes I give people instructions where they should feel the stretch, but sometimes people surprise me telling me about the stretch I would never even think about. It depends on how tight you are in what places. So just go following your body's sensations and really working with it, acknowledging it, and not really achieving, but resting, relaxing, accepting. Close your eyes and keep yourself two long deep breaths in and out. Staying there. Let's see what's happening here. Someone is entering. Perfect. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, we still have about one more minute maybe to go. Let's do a wide angle stretch. 
my favorite stretch. I still haven't progressed with my feet here and further, but I missed something. So just give yourself a nice little wiggle side to side. See how it feels like for you. See if you can maybe go half circle. If you can go from leg to another side, to another leg, and then back to the center. And each side you walk to the leg and to the other side. Notice how it feels like in your body. Gently walking. Maybe close your eyes and notice or maybe think of being super soft. Like from a foam or being like a cloud. So when you just gently walk from side to side, it's so effortless. It's calming. It feels nice and soft and gentle. And it feels relaxing. Just walking yourself from side to side. Not having expectations. Not expecting to be flat on the ground. Not expecting to be high up. Just exploring the movement. Movement from side to side. And notice what is happening in your inner thighs. Keep your feet flexed and just see how it works like for you. Maybe you can gently lower down and then gently lift up. You just see if you can engage various muscles and if you can bring some softness in. So you're not gonna be super static and in pain, but you are exploring how far to go. Maybe you're hitting the edge, so you are returning back up. And just give yourself a few times, falls there. See how it feels like. Gently release if it's too much, returning back up. Beautiful. Maybe three times, gently fold and returning up. And again, fold. Doesn't matter how far you go, if you're super tight, you might feel only a few inches going down and then lifting up. But it's about acknowledging how it feels what muscles are working, what the tightness is, and just exploring that movement. Maybe extending the arms sideways, maybe grabbing the shins, maybe ankles, maybe you can grab your toes. See wherever you can reach, and then just stay there. Wherever is your maximum, but don't go, be careful, don't go over the pain, and just stay there. Close your eyes, and just give yourself a couple of long deep inhales and exhales. Again, if it's too much, you can always lift up or even further lifting up, as long as you can feel the stretch, as long as you are still in the pose. And then gently release. Hands on the ground, very slowly lifting up. And then bend the knees and very slowly bringing the knees back in, slowly, gently. And we are gonna just bring gently knees in and out a few times. Super slow, super gentle. Depends how old you are. I usually feel I need to go super gentle when returning back. And then when you're already up there, let's do a nice zigzag twist. And then look to the back. Feel the stretch in your back, in your spine. Lifting the knees up. And zigzag the other way around. Feel the stretch in your hips. Beautiful. And then we are ready for an inversion. But since the class is so stretchy as you asked for it, we are gonna start with the plow position. And we are gonna float into the plow and we are gonna do just one round. So starting from the fold. Folding, if you want to have knees bent, I have to because of my injury. So maybe bending the knees, folding over and staying there. Give yourself a couple of breaths. This is one of the last poses. So see whatever you can get. If it's too much, lift up. If you're reaching the shins or knees, that's fine. Maybe slightly further rounding the back, dropping the head. Make it comfortable. You don't really want to be struggling, feeling in pain, hating the pose. Relax, just go higher up. You don't have to reach the pose. If you reach the toes, that's good. If not, it's good, it's good too. And then when you're ready, we are gonna unroll, hands under the hips. And I'm gonna move. Hands under the hips, lifting the legs up, and see if you can float into your halasana, into your plow position. If you manage to have the feet on the ground, you don't have to support yourself in the lower back. 
If you're hanging there, you just give yourself some support in your lower back. If you've got bent knees, perfect too. Anything which works for your body. Maybe interlacing the fingertips on the ground and maybe gently rocking the hips forwards and back. So you can explore the forward bending of your spine. If you want to maybe drop the left knee next to your uh, left ear and gently shift to the side, see how it feels like, if the knee reaches. And then extend back into the plow. Then maybe see if the right knee can drop completely on the ground, shifting yourself slightly. Feeling the stretch. And then back up. Maybe you can separate the feet so you've got the wide, wide angle there. Wide angle. If this works for you, perfect. If not, you can bend the knees. And from here, we are gonna go back into the plow. Support yourself in the lower back. And lifting one leg up and staying in the split there. So one foot on the ground, one leg up towards the ceiling. And giving yourself your breath there, and then very gently joining the leg with the other leg. Beautiful. So staying there. If you want to experiment, you can go for nice diamond shape. So you've got both knees bent. One foot is creating a space for the other knee. Then you can swap the sides. So many versions. If any of you are practicing a lotus position, you can get yourself into lotus. You can extend up. Or you can do a cobbler pose instead of lotus and see if you can support yourself grabbing your knees. You can see how my arms are long. They are so long. So see wherever you can reach. If you've got cobbler pose or if you've got lotus position or you can try any other unsupported shoulder stand or if you want to hang around in the plow position feel free to do so and then if you want to if you have had enough of shoulder stand maybe you want to go for a head stand or you can do a split shoulder stand or see what feels like good tonight. We've got a couple more minutes before we will go for relaxation. If you feel ready to unroll from your inversion, unrolling the same way we got into it from the plow position, hips on the ground, feet up, and then hands supporting your hips, straight legs down. If you want to, if you did the shoulder stand fish pose, I will give you a version for an advanced fish, fish pose if you fancy. So the traditional fish pose position, you put the top of your head resting on the ground. If you want to lift the arms up under the angle, maybe 45 degrees, you can. And you can lift the legs up as well. So you've got slightly more challenging. You can do maybe one just legs or just arms. And then when you're ready, any version you had there, if you had the traditional one, feet together, using the forearms to open the chest. And when you're ready, gently releasing, chin in, decompressing the spine, the neck, interlace the fingertips, lift the head, look towards your right toes, feel the stretch in your neck. Then gently release and then decompressing the other side, looking towards the left toes. And then gently release, giving yourself a nice beautiful big hug. So hugging yourself and as I said in the previous class as well, think of your spirit, your soul is hugging you, your human body. Giving yourself support, acknowledgement. Everything you need, you can give yourself. And then when you're ready, release. Coming into your Shavasana position. If you need to do some big rolls or anything, feel free to do so. I'm just going to bring you a bit closer again so you can hear me. I hope you are all there, all nice and alive. Make yourself feel nice and comfortable for your Shavasana. And we are going to do... We are gonna do the 
chakra cleansing. So, making yourself feel nice and comfortable. Your feet falling sideways. Your arms away from your body and your palms facing up. And just think of this as the most important part of your practice. You literally allow yourself to just be, to just relax. No expectations, not trying to achieve. This is the moment when you just are. You are who you are. You don't have to pretend, you don't have to try hard, you don't have to please anyone. You can just let go finally and rest. If you need to, gently wiggle the head side to side. Or maybe wiggling the hips, wiggling the shoulders so you can release any tension you might be holding anywhere within your body. And as you take a long deep breath in, saturating yourself with oxygen, you let yourself relax when you exhale. We are just gonna take a few deep breaths in. Think of inhaling, taking the energy from the soles of your feet throughout your body into the crown of your head. It's like a wave sweeping through you. And exhale, exhaling, taking the energy from the top of your head throughout the body and let it go out through your feet. And let go two more, uh, two more times. Inhaling, drawing the energy through the soles of your feet, throughout the whole body, and coming out through your head. It's like cleansing the channel. And then exhale, taking the energy from the top of your head and sending it down through the soles of your feet. And one more time. Drawing the energy through the soles of your feet, through the body, through the heart, through your brain and mind, into the crown of your head to the chakra and then from the crown chakra through all the energy centers through the body and out through the soles of your feet. So this was like a shower for your energy body. Just pull the energy through. And we are gonna release the blockages even further consciously. We are gonna work with your chakras, the energy centers along the spine. You can slowly, gently bring the attention and the awareness into your root chakra at the base of your spine. There is a center of your I am. You can visualize breathing in and breathing out beautiful red colored energy saturating your body throughout with this red colored energy, cleansing your root chakra. And to further strengthen this energy center, you can repeat the affirmations in your mind. I am safe. I am safe, I am safe. And then shifting the energy, the attention a bit higher up into your sacral chakra in your lower abdomen. That is a center of your I feel. You can visualize 
Breathing in and breathing out. Beautiful orange colored energy saturating your body with orange. Cleansing your sacral chakra. And to for the strength and this energy center, you can repeat the affirmations in your mind. I am creative. I am creative. I am creative. And then very softly, very gently, you can shift the attention higher up into your solar plexus chakra, few inches above your navel. There is a center of your I do, the center of your personal power and strength. You can visualize breathing in and breathing out beautiful golden yellow colored energy saturating your body with golden yellow color cleansing your solar plexus chakra And for the strength and this energy center, you can repeat the affirmations in your mind. I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. And then very softly, very gently drawing the attention and the awareness into your heart chakra, in the center of your chest. And this is the center of your I love, the center of your compassion and empathy. And you can visualize breathing in and breathing out beautiful green colored energy saturating your body with green color cleansing your heart chakra And for the strength and this energy center, you can repeat the affirmations in your mind. I am loved. I am loved. I am loved. And then very softly, gently shifting the attention and the awareness higher up into your throat chakra. At the base of your neck. Well, that is the center of your I speak. You can visualize breathing in and breathing out. Beautiful sky blue colored energy saturating your body with sky blue color, cleansing your throat chakra. And to for the strength and this energy center. You can repeat the affirmations in your mind. I am expressive. I am expressive. 
I am expressive. Hand and by gently shifting the attention and the awareness into your third eye chakra in between your eyebrows. That is the center of your I see. The center of your intuition and sixth sense. We can visualize breathing in and breathing out beautiful indigo colored energy saturating your body with indigo blue color cleansing your third eye chakra And for the strengthen this energy center, you can repeat the affirmations in your mind. I am connected. I am connected. I am connected. And then eventually, Bringing the attention and the awareness to the highest, to the fastest spinning chakra energy center at the top of your head. And that is the center of your I know. It is a connection to your higher self, to universe or to God. You can visualize breathing in and breathing out beautiful purple colored energy saturating your body with purple color cleansing your crown chakra. And if for the strength and this energy center, you can repeat the affirmations in your mind. I am divine. I am divine. I am divine. You can sense and feel the energy flowing throughout your body, through each and every energy center. There are no blockages, no obstacles. You dissolved everything in the energy body. As you inhale and exhale, just sense and feel the freshness, the cosmic energy, the prana, entering your body through the crown of your head, and release it through the root chakra and then coming back is the energy gently flowing through you which is recharging you in the physical body healing you rebalancing you rejuvenating you and to finish cleansing you can start to visualize protective shield around yourself around your physical body and energy body maybe a rainbow colored maybe crystal clear and you can see it as an energy bubble so you can be protected and guarded at all times and only gold energy can come in and out you can keep your equilibrium your balance your happiness your health and you will have abundance of everything to even share with the closest ones Feeling content, feeling full, recharged, saturated with the good energy. And feeling yourself lighter, vibrating, vibrating higher, 
feeling the lightness throughout your body, maybe even seeing the lightness under your closed eyelids, noticing the change, the energy shift within you. Be zooming in, maybe you can be so sensitive that you feel or maybe see the change within. And then very gently bringing the awareness back into your room, back into your physical body, back into your toes and fingers, wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers, making little circles or half circles with the wrists, with the ankles, just bringing aliveness back into your completely still body. And then on inhale, reaching the arms overhead and stretch. Feel the new energy coming through. On exhale, releasing the arms and very softly, gently roll onto your right side. Just give yourself a moment there. Don't rush. Nice and slow. No need to be too fast. Just relax. Take a moment to appreciate your practice tonight. Take a moment to appreciate the connection mind body you re-established and strengthened throughout your practice. And take a moment to appreciate each and every breath you take, which we often take for granted. And take a moment to appreciate everything and everyone in your life. So you can generate this gratefulness and gratitude within and you can vibrate even higher. And then when you feel ready, very gently climbing yourself back up into a seated position of your choice. You can keep the eyes closed, give yourself a moment to still stay with them. Rubbing the palms together for extra healing boost. Feel the energy applying on the head for the mental support, heart for the emotional support. Or if you want to improve your eyesight, anywhere you feel you can benefit from extra energy, just apply the hands there and stay with it for a moment. Notice how it feels, notice what you can see under your closed eyelids. Again, learning to tune in. And then when you're ready, pressing the palms together, fingertips on the fingertips, inhale, reach up. Notice the lightness as you invite the energy from the universe into your life. Inviting health, happiness, positivity, all you wish for. Connecting to your third eye to bring more wisdom and more light onto your path. And then connecting with your heart to bring more love, kindness, compassion, empathy towards yourself and the others. And namaste. Thank you for joining me. I am gonna 